Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing your girl some love. I wanna talk about two new fragrances that I received today. And then we're gonna get into, I guess Emmy did a video I just saw. It said Fragrance Twins. I did a reel over on Instagram and it was like a top nine or actually did a top 10. And uh, I was initially gonna do like my top 10, but I said, you know what? No, because I have so many Many fragrances that are alike and sometimes we have redundancy in our fragrance collection so let me show some fragrances that are pretty much very similar in nuance similar in scent and some are even fragrance dupes y'all some of the dupes are even better than the actual um the original fragrance so i decided to do a top 910 um, on that over on Instagram. So today we're going to be talking about that and then I want to introduce two new fragrances into my collection. I'll let you know if I'm going to be keeping it, keeping them or not. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe, turn on those notification bells, you know, like, comment, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you want to do, you know, just give it to me, you guys. All right. It helps the algorithm. Okay. Which I'm really not concerned with to tell you the truth. Um, whoever's going to love you and like my videos, um, will love me and like me and that's all I want is the connection you all um, absolutely love you guys and uh, thanks for coming to this channel and you know being just one huge fragrance family so without further ado and all that being said let's get into the very first um, new fragrance that everybody's talking about over on Instagram I don't know about TikTok because I really don't do TikTok but this is the uh, black opium uh, Le Parfum, I think it's pronounced. I have the smaller one, you all. Um, I don't think I featured this on another video because since I've been back, I've only done about maybe five or six videos, but three haven't even been released yet, you guys. I need to get on it. I've been so busy at work. So um, I have to go edit a little bit and, you know, put all the stuff down below in the description box, all of that. So your girl's tired when she gets off from work, all right? Uh, working 12-hour shifts sometimes turn into 13, 14-hour shifts, and sometimes I have a headache at the end of the day. Uh, but these actually help me so much, you guys. Um, so anyway, the Black Opium, um, I think it's the Le Parfum. It doesn't say it on the bottom. Actually, it does. Black Opium Le Parfum. My eyes are working today. Um, I actually like this Black Opium better than any other Black Opium that I have in my collection. Um, you do still get the white florals. You get like a creamy latte, like a caramelly, creamy, uh, milky latte-ness from this fragrance on top of some beautiful white florals. The jasmine to me is not as heavy in this fragrance as in the other ones. Even the um, the black opium intense that I have with the chocolate note. The white florals are a little more in that one. This one is blended like perfect. You know, I got the 30 ml bottle. I'm always saying, oh, I should have got the bigger bottle when I absolutely love something, but I don't need it. It's going to take me years to go through this one. And uh, you guys, I absolutely love this one the best. So get your nose on. It's good. Get your nose on this fragrance. Um, I might make this my scent of the day or scent of the night because I already had a scent of the day um, and that is wearing down. Um, so my scent of the evening nighttime will be this one right here, you guys. All right, so another one that I was super excited about and people have been talking about this fragrance. It's super, super expensive. I did not bring the box here. So um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see um, the box and the packaging, which is absolutely stunning for this fragrance. And this is by um, a more Arabian Oud. Um, and this is called a seal. Okay, look at the bottle, y'all. Check out that gorgeous bottle. It's super heavy. The top is heavy. And when I tell you it was completely fitted into the packaging, I had to get a knife, not a butter knife. I had to get a sharp knife after trying to pack it out the package for about 10 minutes. I was over it. So I was like, you know what? Let me get a knife. Even then the knife, it was still hard to like, pry out of the package. Anyway, the package is bulletproof, y'all. So anyway, this is Azil. There is original one with a little more of a, like a rose oody smell. Uh, but this one here is a special edition. I was super excited to get this. This retails for about $300. Uh, but I found it on Joma Shop on sale for $160, I think, about $160 with taxes and all that. So I was super excited. But when I got it, I was like, oh my gosh, I've been waiting for it, checking my emails every day to see when I was going to get the fragrance. So when I got it, I sprayed it and I was like, 
I know this smell, you know, very, very well, okay? Um, it is beautiful, it is pretty. You know, on the reviews it stated it's rose, it's caramelly. This is actually stated to be a scent for men, I beg to differ. This is a super, super feminine scent to me. Um, you know, of course people say there's that sweet caramel. So anyway, in this fragrance, you have some ambergris, you have some ozonic notes, you have some rose, you have some caramel, you have some vanilla in here, um, you have some orange blossom in here, if I didn't say that already. But in the opening, you have some citruses in here. In the opening, y'all, this fragrance smells like so many other fragrances that I have in my collection. Actually, Roses Vanille, I just sold, so I don't have that one anymore. Ajoie, I ordered two bottles of that about a year ago. I ended up giving Ajoie away because I have Fumi Mune's uh, Exalté, and Exalté kind of reminded me of all of those fragrances. So I was like, you know what? I wanted to support my girl. I love Exalté. It's more luxurious. It's more tantalizing. It's fresh. It's sophisticated. Um, it's just beautiful. It doesn't give me any synthetic notes or any screechiness. So that's why I decluttered Ajoie. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's why I decluttered Ajoad and uh, Roses Vanille. Um, those two fragrances also gives you that nuance from Roses Musk. This also gives you the rose and vanilla from Deluxe because it has that rose, vanilla, and a little bit of citruses, the honey in there. Um, also, um, Montal Intense Cafe. A lot of you guys don't get the coffee, but you get a heavy rose and vanilla. This also gives you that rose and vanilla. So all of those fragrances are very similar, minus Deluxe with the honey and the coffee, uh, which a lot of people don't get the coffee. I get a lot of the coffee, uh, but that rose and the citruses um, and the vanilla in here, the same as in Intense Cafe and Fumi Mune's Exalté and Roses Vani and uh, Mancera Roses Musk and Ajwad, y'all, Latafas Ajwad, they're all the same. So I'm not sure if I'll be keeping this fragrance. Um, that DNA is like embedded in my brain. I'm keeping my Fumi Mune's uh, fragrance Exalté and I absolutely love it. It's just so much more upscale than these here. Now I do like it. This one is on the sweeter end. Um, a lot of people say they got a really rich caramel. It's really sweet, but to me, I get a little creamy milk lactonic caramel, but you get a little bit more of that vanilla. It's like a heavy concentrated vanilla in here with the rose. Um, so you could, like I said, you get a little bit of caramel in the mid after about maybe 15 minutes, but then as it dries down, y'all, it turns into rose, vanilla, and citruses. Um, and that is it, okay? And this is Azil, and this is a special edition which is super feminine to me and this is by um I forgot again Arabian Oud all right so <laughs> all of that being said let's get into what you came here for um so we're not gonna go through the notes okay maybe a couple notes but the very first fragrance I'm gonna call uh fragrance twins or fragrances that are super affordable that I absolutely love I absolutely love all of these fragrances and they will be staying in my collection even though they're dupes um I'll just wear them one and then maybe layer with the other one because they are so so similar um so anyway this is Dama Bianca it's a beautiful note of kumquat in here um you have some malt you have a really strong note of vanilla vanilla in here. It's like a powdery vanilla. Um, and Janun Noir, Janun, no, yeah, Janun Noir. I just ordered Janun Noir Oud, you guys, um, and that one should be on the way. I ordered it about a week ago, but it takes forever to get here, and I'm so excited because it's supposed to be Tigra. I'm so excited to uh, review that fragrance, y'all. Um, so Janun Noir is definitely a, an amazing dupe of Dama Bianca. This one's super affordable. This one's about maybe $50. This one's about $200 plus, y'all absolutely love them both buy whichever one you want to buy but it definitely makes sense to buy this one because um it's so much more affordable but you get the same fragrance y'all um citrusy pretty fruity vanilla y'all get your nose on this one dama bianca and uh Janou noir and this is by the house of um harmaine al harmaine 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 it doesn't say al harmaine but yeah that's it all right, so the next one we're going to discuss is um, one that, let me tell you which one I love. Oops.
oops, sorry. I'm gonna tell you which one I do love more. Um, I do love What About Oud, um, What About Oud, What About Pa by the House of Oud, and I do love Shan Blue, okay? These fragrances are so, so similar. A lot of people can't take the ambergris and the saltiness um, from this fragrance. So what do I say? This one to me is a little more sophisticated. Shea Blue, even though this bottle looks a little more luxurious, um, this one, it lasts forever, you guys. You definitely get, you get a little bit more of a salty, buttery, caramelly popcorn with this one. Um, you get a slight popcorn note in this one, but you get that rich, burnt, um, salted caramel. So this is Shea Blue uh, Salt and Caramel, and this is the EDP. I love this one more, you guys, uh, but I do love the ambergris in this one as well. But if you can't take the ambergris in this one, then I say you need to try um, Salt and Caramel by Shea and Blue. But yeah, this one is so good. It's mouth-watering, it's gourmand, it's delicious. And y'all, I love it. I will reach for this one more. I do reach for this one more than I reach for this one. All right, so the next one is... Um, this is Noble 1942, and this is La Danza, and this one is uh, Cosmot, and this is Ebhar, y'all. Y'all, they're super close, and I love them both. Um, they're tart, sweet apple pie. I think I said this one reminds me of a red apple pie, and this one reminds me, even though I think there's a red apple on here, this one's a little bit more tart. It reminds me of a green, sweet, warm, spicy, doughy apple pie. Um, this one is just slightly woodier. I love both of these more than I love Casablanca. Um, Casablanca, to me, these are more like the female versions of Casablanca, or more of the feminine versions of Casablanca. Um, if you want to do a date night where you have your man wear Casablanca, or whoever likes more of the uh, masculine fragrance and the person that loves more of the feminine fragrance have them wear these to y'all uh, but this is such an amazing deal do you need to spend $150 on this one I'd say no get Ephar but I do love both of them um, they're delicious they're sweet they're tart they're fruity they're good and they both smell like warm apple pies Ephar and this is La Danza 1942 okay I'm not gonna say the whole name all right, the next one that are fragrance twins, but they are not dupes, you guys. But one is in, one is definitely inspired by the other. Um, one is just a little boozier, smells a little more like apple pie, cinnamon. This one right here, um, and this is Camera. You get a little bit more of a warm, spicy. I do get the slight tuberose note in here as well in the mid. Um, warm, spicy, you get the dark fruits. Um, the, I, I think I get a little bit of plum in here as well, but it's definitely inspired by Angel Share. Of course, I love Angel Share more, but if you want something super affordable, um, this one has more vanilla. It's a little more boozy. You get a little more um, like juiciness to this one right here. Uh, but this one, like I said, they are inspired by, this one is inspired by Angel Share. No, they're not dupes. Every time I post this, people keep saying, oh, they're not dupes. I didn't say that they were dupes. I just said that one's an inspiration of the other. So if you don't want to spend your coins on this one, um, get Camera. Yeah, layer Camera with a little bit more vanilla because the vanilla and the booziness in here and Angel Share is on point, but I love them both and I'm keeping them both in my collection, you guys. They're stunning, okay? Get your nose on them. The next one are basically dupes, okay? <laughs> so this is, um, of course, um, Baccarat Rouge 540. I don't know why I forgot the name. This is the X-Straight. And my bottle scratch, I don't know how I scratched my bottle, but anyway, this is the X-Straight. Um, you only need like maybe four sprays of this and be done, okay? You only need four sprays of this and be done, okay? They're both very potent. Um, based on the performance, they're both amazing. Um, this is Amber Rouge by Orientica. Yeah, you don't even have to spend your coins on this one. Um, buy this one. They don't smell synthetic. You get that bitter almond. You get that ambergris, that saffron. Um, it's their beautiful fragrances. Uh, but which one makes more sense to purchase? 
you know, if you are a man and you don't like the femininity of the bottle, transfer the bottle, okay? But anyway, this one makes so much more sense to purchase than this one here, unless you just want to be bougie and, you know, spend your coins on this smaller bottle um, versus the uh, Amber Rouge by Oriantica as well. But they're beautiful fragrances and they're basically dupes of one another. Um, you can hardly tell the difference. This one has a little more richness, slight more sophistication um and uh they're they're beautiful y'all get your nose on them but yeah we gotta make sense of a lot of things today um when i was when i started you know reviewing fragrances which was two years ago and i was really buying fragrances like three years ago um i've always had a collection of 100 for over the past like six years but when covid hit you know just being at home i started purchasing 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 even prior to watching reviews and starting my channel, um, it just got a little bit out of control. And then I was like, what am I going to do with all these fragrances? I said, you know what? I was supposed to be starting a travel channel and it's turned into basically a fragrance channel, y'all. But you know what? It all makes me happy. Okay, so that's all that matters. So the next one we have is, of course, Delina. My first love is the original. Um, Lady Rosa is the best Delina dupe that I've smelled out there. This one's a little slight woodiness. Um, there's also one by Moresque. It gives you that Delina-esque vibe as well. Um, Alma Pura, it gives you that Delina-esque vibe, but it's a little woody as well. Um, it, it's juicy, but it's beautiful. But this one here, it's it, this one actually is slightly sweeter, but it gives you woodiness. Um, this is Lady Rosa, and this is by... I have to do the review on this one, you guys. I have about six or seven of these fragrances, and I need to do the review. Actually, I think I did it. I didn't like it, and I deleted it, so I need to do it over. Um, and this is by mate Mateen Martin. Yeah. Mateen Martin, you guys. Um, and of course this is the Lena Parfums de Marley. Okay. Get your nose on them. This totally makes sense. Um, even though I love Delina, I want them both. This will always be in my collection. Um, I wear this one just running errands around the house, all of that. Um, this one, most of the time I'll throw on if I'm like going out, but they're both gorgeous. Um, this is super juicy. They're both super juicy, y'all. Mouth watering. Get your nose on them. Lady Rosa, Mateen Martin, Delina Parfums de Marley. All right, only a couple more, y'all. So the next one we have is Orientica again. Um, Orientica is making some really good fragrances, you all. So this is by the Art Bellissimo, and this is Romantic. Um, a lot of people say this smells like Delina. There's a little bit of Delina DNA in here, but y'all, you know what this is giving me? Because it's warm, spicy, it's giving me Atomic Rose. It's giving me more Atomic Rose than Delina, you guys. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and spray this. Yes, it's giving um, Delina exclusive. It's giving Delina. It's giving Atomic Rose. But y'all, it's giving a little more woodiness. But y'all, this is an amazing fragrance. Y'all, for the price, um, you can stick Delina with this one as well. But there's a little bit of warm spiciness. But for the price, Oriantica, if you want Atomic Rose, um, this one's a little more warm, spicy. Um, you get that, um, the Hedione in here. I think that makes the fragrance completely different. Um, two different roses, Turkish Rose and Bulgarian Rose. Uh, but you know what? You guys, this one's good. You get a little bit of, of powderiness from Delina X. Um, but yeah, this is a combination of Delina X, Delina, and Atomic Rose, y'all. Um, yeah. I would actually absolutely say, even though Atomic Rose, I would choose Atomic Rose. But if I had to recommend a fragrance, I would tell you to get Romantica by um, by Orientica, y'all. Um, but yeah, I'm taking Atomic Rose because it's super sexy. This one's sexy, playful, flirty, um, all of that. And I love it. I love them both. Obsessed with both of these, y'all. They're both good. So the next one, I think it's super similar in scents. Um, to me, this one's a little more masculine. This is slightly more feminine. You get the black currant, citruses, orange, uh, blackberries, I think, in here as well. Um, it's spa-like. It's very serene. It's creamy. This one's very spa-like, serene, creamy. You get some clementine um, he in here. You get some freshness. Both of these fragrances, this is Mont Blanc Signature. Um, and to me, this is definitely more feminine than... Um, 
um, Musk Therapy by Anishio. But to me, they're giving the same vibe. These are uh, perfect for date night. If he or she wants to wear this one and you wear this one, they'll be perfect. They will, you know, complement one another and you guys will definitely, definitely not be clashing. But they're giving me the same spa-like, um, just serene, airy, fresh, mentally stimulating type vibe. And this is Montblanc, Sig Montblanc Signature and this is Musk Therapy by Initio but I absolutely love them both. The next one is Ojan and Caltot Night, y'all. Warm, spicy, vanilla, smoky, both are stunning. I love them both absolutely the same. Um, this one gives you like that cherry in here um, that makes it a little extra special and sweet, but this one also gives you a warm, spicy, cinnamon, cherry nuance as well. Um, smells a little tobacco-y, both of them very woody, uh, very resinous, but I love them both. Ojan, if you don't wanna spin your coins on Ojan, Calta Night gives you the same exact nuance. I love them both and get your nose on them. Super affordable, less than $100. And this one, you already know, it's about two to $300. If you can find it for two on the gray market, y'all. Yeah, beautiful fragrances. Um, this is a, a Tar collection, Calta Night and Parfums de Marley, Ojan. I'm gonna be listing them all down below, so don't worry. Um, the next one, I'm gonna tell you which one. Some of you guys will take the other one, but I'm gonna take the other one. So anyway, we have your Baccarat Rouge 540. They're like a gazillion and one dupes out there for this fragrance. I love it. You see, I purchased the big bottle. I do have a little bit of a dent in it. Do I reach for it? Absolutely not, not anymore. Um, I think I wore this once or twice to work last year, but it's not like I wanted to. I couldn't make up my mind as to what I wanted to wear, so I just picked up B540. All right, so um, Electimus, Trajan. I am in love with Trajan. Trajan is B540 with some bright, sweet citruses on top. This is obsessive, obsession. This is my obsession, okay? Um, I love it, love it, love it. Uh, very unisex, um, amazing for the summer, spring, summer. Um, this definitely heats up, up, up on your body. Um, like I said, I took this over the, over to Greece and I got the most amazing compliments. I wore this to work. I haven't worn it lately in the winter, but when I did wear this to work, I got the most amazing compliments. Um, even a couple of people, like ambulance drivers, compliments to me on this fragrance y'all so which one would i take i'm taking trajan okay for the win y'all uh b540 i don't know what i'll do with you but we got a long way to go um but anyway maybe i'll layer the two i don't know but which one do i absolutely recommend they are all basically fragrance twins like i said this one is a little more citrusy um and a little sweeter actually no this one has that burnt sugar notes a little bit this one has that burnt sugar note with a little citruses on it as well all right anyway both are amazing scents but this one gives me so much more character trajan by electimus i'm obsessed with this fragrance love it you guys all right that is all um get your nose on these fragrances go on to the world spread amazing sillage do good be good all of that um, and yes, fragrance twins, uh, fragrance step sisters, step brothers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, but I absolutely love every single one of these. And um, I'm going to be keeping every single one, even though they're um, dupes and they're super similar. Um, kissing cousins in my fragrance collection, y'all. All right, go out into the world, have an amazing day, spread amazing sillage. Do good, be good, all of that, y'all. And make sure you are subscribed and your notification bells are on. Um, I'm gonna try to, you know, give you a little more videos uh, because I'm working on this day shift, y'all. When I'm when I go in in the morning, I am completely wiped out by the time I get home. I am in bed by 8:30, you guys. I do get up at four o'clock in the morning to be at work by six, but y'all, I'm in bed by 8:30. I am done. My brain is done overthinking all day long, moving around, sweating, flipping, turning, all of that stuff pushing um so yeah i'm done mentally and physically so anyway love you guys and um be your best self that's all i gotta tell you all right bye bye